I got like five copies. So this is the 700, and this is <laughs> where the water supply. So that's a no go through there, huh? That's Travis hanging out in the slusher ramp. So let's go, Kevin. So there's a pump here that the town has used for water for a number of years. It has since stopped working. We're the first ones down here in about 15 years to see why it's not working. It could be out of water. The pump could be bad. But we're the first to put lights on this in at least 15 years. That is an awful small pump to handle. Look at there's still pressure. 150 pounds. That's just from the water that's in the pipe. Yeah, but that means the pipe is not in that bad a shape. Up to whatever elevation that. Is. Well, you could figure it out. Yeah, you could. So wow, look at this. Here's here's the old original pump. Right here. Wow, look at that. You're right. Wow. Reciprocating pump. Three cylinder reciprocating pump. And yeah, <laughs> you know what, man? You should try and turn it. Stick something in there and try and turn it. It'll probably turn. Well, there's no place to. That old pump is awesome. Oh, yeah, oh there it go, boys. Yeah, it still spins. That should run. So where's the water coming from? That's the question. We haven't got quite. Yeah. Okay, well, that's we. A, yeah, I agree. That's, this isn't a terribly large pump. This thing is pretty poorly. It was this like five, ten horsepower motor. What? That's a big Wait, is the power turned off to it? <clears throat> yeah. I think so. There's some down freaking here. breakers down here. And they're turned nobody, off. Nobody knew that. And they're turned off. Yeah. Huh. What? Did somebody intentionally shut this thing down? No, the breaker could have tripped. For any oh, reason. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, I don't think that motor would have tripped the breaker. <clears throat> hmm. This is interesting. Remember, you know, like five horsepower, like actually meant something. <laughs> so it's uh, <clears throat> wow, you got lucky on that one, John. It's a five horsepower, two twenty volt motor. That one there is not close to five horsepower. Correct. This, well, I know old motors are rate seem to be rated very conservatively. Like they have way more torque than like a brand new motor you buy now. Doesn't look good. So, the water line is going this direction, and so the water line is going through this. Ooh. And it continues, though. It continues. And it looks like there's be off just digging a well. something up here. I'm going to pause this or stop. No water. The thing is, how much flow do you have? Oh, is there water? There is water. Wow. Oh, I bet there's a pusher here. Wow. A pusher pump. Oh, you mean like a, like a pre-pump or whatever, yeah. A lift pump or whatever. No way. Huh. So there's water. Huh. And after all this year, these years, it doesn't come any higher than this. It just stays there. What if they just drill a, a four hole from here to here? That wouldn't actually be that expensive if you could hit it exactly. Yeah, we we talked about that. So is this the pipe right here? Probably. So the, the, he's using that bucket as a clarifier. Yeah. To keep rocks and stuff out. Yeah. Yeah. If I was gonna get this going, a seven hundred foot well isn't that expensive, like fifteen thousand dollars. But you would have to have a very precise survey from the shaft to that spot if you want to hit it. But it's possible. It is possible, yeah. Wow. I didn't expect to see this. In fact, if I was going to do that, I would probably radio locate it. That's how you would do it. You'd radio locate it. Well, there you go. I'm going to have a bunch of pictures. I can't out. You want to try some of that delicious out. water? Anybody? Who's first? So they're not using a pusher. No, so if there's any holes in this line, it's going to suck air, like right there? Correct. 
right, right there correct. where it's rusty? Yep. It would not prime. Yep, correct. Are there mosquitoes in that? No. I think that's just dust. I don't see anything moving. <clears throat> Do you want to walk that ramp of death? Yeah. Except you realize you're going to have a really shitty time if you fall in that. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah it's not that deep, but it's... Yeah, no, but the hypothermia factor getting out. Fuck no, that. Water's probably not very warm. Well, you're going to be soaked for the next five hours. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So that's a okay. Pull that up again. Okay. So there's a there's a sensor here that's on the small wire, and we think that we think that might be a low like a cutoff. If it runs out of water, it doesn't just sit there and run. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I see. There's no like, opening to it or anything. That's the wire. That's the wire in there. It's not connected to anything. It's not? Nope. That terminates right here. The small wire. Where's the small wire terminate? This wire? Yeah. Right Where's it go? Oh, that's not a termination. That's a splice. Okay. That's a splice. Uh, so that that so is. Then it comes to this, and then it comes to you know back to the pump there. So it's this thicker black. There thing. are bug. Oh, maybe that is dust. Okay. That that has got to be. What does it say there on that yellow tag? That's the rating for the wire. Junior Super Single Pump Switch. 720-1989. Yeah, that, that has got to be a low water cutoff. It's a pump, so it's a pump switch. Right, so if, if it runs out of water, it cuts the pump motor okay, off. Okay. It doesn't just run it dry. Okay. Because what happened is it was lose its prime and it would never come back. So how does that know when there's no water? I, I, I don't know. So some kind of like does it ground out into the I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we, we've got a pump switch in here. And this is uh, half inch galvanized where it's sucking out of this barrel, which is like a clarifier. And um, we don't know how that pump switch works. You know, we don't, this is a pump switch here. And it's obviously a, a low water cutoff. Well, it said something to tank. Is but we, we don't know how the hell it works. No, there's instructions on the, uh, on the breaker. Did you read it? No. Did you go across that? Read that. Let me take a look. But yeah, here's the, it talks about it right here, but it's just a. Don't so, read it. Don't read that. So yeah, let's pop that breaker open and look at that, Kevin. So Mike had big plans and he um, started building a. So, see that breaker is off right there. Okay, so there's the contactor. Hold on. To shut down for first pull switch. So there, right there is the... So follow the wire from the pump switch. So that that's that. Okay. Okay, pop that box open. So there's the wires. They're all intact. So where's that pump switch come in? Very clean. There's a big giant fuses too. I can't tell if they're What's the contact the contactor hold on. Okay, so basically what we have here is this, this is the line here from the pump switch. Okay, so this comes down. Where's this, where's this line here go? Does this go to the motor? That goes to the pump motor, right? Okay, so this line from the pump, 
This is the line from the pump switch. This is, this is neutral right here. So neutral from the pump switch connects to a fuse. Uh, this neutral going to the motor. So yeah, so the pump switch is just in series with the motor. So this is line and neutral. Line is going directly to the motor. Neutral, I'm just using that because white's neutral. Line is going to the motor. Neutral is going to the pump switch. The other wire from the pump switch is coming back to the motor. So the pump switch is in series with the motor. Okay, so what from here, this this is line and neutral here, and it's Travis, stop it. Yeah, you see it's got 150 psi. So this is the this is the line coming in. So this circuit breaker panel here is not connected to anything, I don't believe. Well, well, oh, wait, wait, wait. This circuit breaker panel is connected to the incandescent bulbs. Okay. The contactor is defunct. No, 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 no. So check it out. So... This, this is the line from the pump switch down there. It's in series. This is the line with the motor. It's in series with the motor. Perfect. Right? Yep. So if it runs dry, it'll stop the motor. Yes. Okay. So this is for the incandescent bulbs. Oh, that's it. Okay. Okay. So this is currently on. So, Gord. So we you we did a continuity check of everything here using this using my light and basically what we did is we just went from here to no nope, it's the other one it's the white so the white turn that on so and you can see we got continuity through the pump switch and we checked the pump. We Pump checked switch. the continuity of the the. We checked the continuity of the motor. <coughs> we checked the continuity of the fuses, and it's all all good. Mm -hmm. We might actually cause the pump switch to close by screwing with it. We don't know, but right now there's continuity everywhere. Everything appears you know, okay. I think it's probably leaks. It could, yeah. Did they ever try just running it? Don't know. Put an amp clamp on it. Yep. Yeah, that would tell you. That would. All right. There you go. Yeah, I, this just this this needed some basic diagnosis. Yeah. yeah. Rather than just like buying a bunch of oh, stuff. Oh, let's spend five thousand dollars on a pump. You know. Yeah. Just needed some some diagnosis. So, I think the reason they did that is because that's not the first pump that they put in here. They had them go out before because they constantly have it. Probably because it's a very low flow system. Uh, you know, if you do that, will it lose its prime? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh. Let's read this thing. It might be one of those self primers. You know what I mean? Because that yep. would mean that any time it hit the low flow switch, it may have an issue, and you never you have to reprime it. Hmm. But I don't know for certain. This has some weird calibration thing. All I know is it's um, energy saving electric motor. I suspect. Hmm. So I suspect this thing. You know, a half inch pump is not going to pump a whole lot of water seven hundred feet. How would you prime it? Well, I guess there's. A we'll reprime it. So, by so this has got to be a very, very, very low volume yes. reciprocating pump. Yes. And that's got to be a check valve in the top. And they probably had a big, they had a big tank because this thing produces hardly nothing. So in fact, I think that that's probably with that little calibration you can adjust the length of the stroke maybe. So to uh, good. So that it doesn't get uh, you know overcome. But uh, but I think that that they prime it back there because there was a bucket and there was a place to prime it. That makes sense. That's yeah. If there's no water in here, but since we have water, no, there's a check valve right there. It doesn't matter if there's water oh, here; okay, it's not so going to go back through the there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. This does look like a yeah. This does not look like a uh, so rotary you, pump. So you want to try and open it? Yeah, I would. Get in front of you. So I'm pretty sure the problem with it is that the uh, pipe is broken above it. 
And there's a drain. It could be broken um, in the collapse, too. Northern, there's like a drain. It looks like it drains out by that slusher ramp. Oh, really? Yeah. But then um, the knob is a little rusty, <sighs> but I bet we could probably get that to open, too. Um, bone dry, though. See, that this pipe could be broken uh, at that collapse, too. It could be. Yeah. yeah. Is, how does it look? Is it clean? It's possible they poured some water now trying to prime it, too. It's a little bit yeah. moldy, but it's clean. It would work. We dumped know? a few gallons down to find the leaks. Hmm. It would do the job. And it had some leaks. I'm assuming. So, it. obviously, the, the check valve is working because it's... Well, we don't... Let's open this up. Then we'll know if the check valve works. Open loosen it up. it up. Just loosen it up. Yeah. Yes, I would say it's yeah. working. Yep, for sure. Hmm. So... <laughs> You just the half-inch galvanized that's going into this yeah, bigger two-inch pipe. Obviously, this collapse was here, and what they did is yeah. they just cut it, cut the pipe off and pushed the new pipe through it. So this is a check valve, and when I blew in here... Oh. Yeah, you're not going to prime it. I could hardly blow through it. I would just put it back down in there. But that's not going to help us any. <clears throat> but it should be primed enough to work. Do you want to give me that bucket and just we'll just dump a tiny bit in there and see if it'll even go? In. <clears throat> you know how creepy this kind of is, actually. Here, hold it. I, I can actually get it. I'm not sure if it'll even go through. It's not going to. I don't think. Yeah. Let's go. Oh yeah, it is. Very cool. slow. Not very fast. You want to try to make you like a funnel with this milk jug? This could take a long time. Well, it, it, it's not lack of prime because I was blowing like right on water. I don't think it's lost its prime. So we're thinking this is what they did to prime it is they took this since actually since that's a check valve, right? Down there. Down there. You just take this cap off and you take that bucket and you fill it up. And, you fill it up. Exactly. and basically you, you just loosen that white thing back there that filter trap, right. and that primes it. Okay. But it, I think it's primed. It's primed enough it should work. I wish I could, we could find a tool to open that. I forgot my crescent wrench. Uh. So I'm going to say this pump is good, and, and the way I'm coming to that determination is I'm turning this counterclockwise with my finger here. And this is one hell of a gear reduction. You can see there, yeah. it hit pressure, where it's trying to compress the water. Yep. And, of course, I can't turn it by hand, but, yeah, right there. I'm right there. Come, pump's good. Okay. Pump is good. So we think this right here is the failure point. Uh, you can see where the pipe has right there has pulled away from the timbering and you can see that rust that looks like that was a valve and the knob blew out and it's just hollow and the pipe has completely pulled away from the timber here and it looks like that valve took the brunt of the flex and um, you can see where the water was just running down. So explain what you're doing. We're going to check the current draw going down to the pump. I've never used the digital one of these before. I guess it's auto ranging amps. So here we go. 3.6 amps. It's running. It's running. At two 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 forty, that would be about six hundred watts, right? Wow. So,